All right, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Akeem and welcome to today's blog. Here to continue with all my top five prospects for each position headed towards the 2014 NFL Draft. Today, gonna switch things over on the defensive side to start things off with my top five defensive ends. And I must say, I do like this group a lot. Next to the wide receiver position, I think the stock in this particular position is one of the best stocks headed towards this year's draft. And I think I have some stellar players for you guys. Now, me personally, I believe that a good nine defensive ends could be picked within the first two rounds of this year's draft. Kicking things off at number five, I'm going to go with Trent Murphy out of the Stanford Cardinal. This kid actually led the nation this past season with 15 sacks, and he was actually one of the top players in that Stanford defense, along with Shane Scope. And he's actually part of the reason why Stanford finally turned things around and became a record, in a record to be messed with in um, the college football nation and one of the top uh, teams uh, coming out of the Pac-12 conference. Conference. And in fact, the top team actually winning back on um, multiple um, Pac-12 championships. I think this kid is a great player. Like I said, he led the nation in sacks, and he's definitely a good player. He does need to increase that speed. He runs a 4-8-2-40. Hopefully, just increase that just a little bit, but he is a relentless player, and I think he could be a key component at the defensive end position, a reliable player if he increases his speed in the National Football League level. At number four, I'm going to have to go with my Texas Longhorn, Jackson Jeffcoat. I think he's an outstanding player. The Ted Hendricks Award winner given to one of the nation's his best premier defensive players and he was also the co-defensive player of the year of the Big 12 Conference. Actually had uh, 80, 86 sack tackles this past season to go along with 13 sacks and he ran a 4 6 340 at the defensive end position, which is very impressive. And that's why I had to jump up at the number four player overall at the defensive end position. I actually had him within my top 10, but I had to put bump him all the way to number four because of that good stellar on 40. Now, he does need to increase that strength. He only had 18 reps at 225 pounds, and his size overall is a major concern. He weighs on... Um, 247 pounds at six foot five. Hopefully he bulks up just a little bit, and that's a little bit of a concern to me. He might have a struggle. He might end up getting pushed around by these offensive tackles, but he is still a great player who has a good motor. At number three, I'm going to have to go with UNC's Kareem Martin. The reason why I have him at number three, because he's a lot bigger and stronger than Jackson Jeffco. He had 22 reps at 225 pounds, 6'6", six six, 272 pounds. He resembles a lot of a power forward, power forward of the NBA. Great size. He run a, runs a 4'7", 240. Not fast. Not as fast as Jeffco, but he is still a good enough speed at defensive end. Now, he has a good initial quickness coming off the line of scrimmage, but not enough explosiveness coming off the line of scrimmage once the ball is snapped. And that could be very key, and that is, is very key for defensive ends to order to accomplish, to get to the quarterback. It's that first step, the explosive step to get boom past these offensive tackles. Just need to get that first step a little bit more explosive as far as quick, but he still has a good quick initial step. Also, he has been more, mostly inconsistent throughout his career until his senior campaign where he had 21 and a half tackles for loss and 11 and a half sacks an outstanding year to go along with 82 tackles at number two I'm gonna go with Coney Ely out of Mizzou now this is more of a fan favorite pick to me and that's why I have him at number two because I read, read it a lot of scouts have a lot more faith in him due to his outstanding athleticism reminds me a little bit of Ziggy Ansaw coming out of BYU another athlete, a good athlete at defensive end and that's why a lot of scouts have even boosting him up within the top three defensive ends headed towards this year's draft. Now he's very athletic. He's um he weighs 272 pounds, but he runs a 49240 at the scout combine, which is, was a concern for me. And I'm a little bit surprised that I even have him in my at number two. But because of all the hype and more of the scouting of the scouts and coaches liking him a lot. I had to bump him at number two. Now, like I said, he is a fan favorite pick. Now, he has been not having as much attention as opposite Michael Sam this past season. Michael Sam was actually the co-defensive player of the year of the SEC Conference. But um, uh, Ely actually has a better upscale, better, more potential, more upside than Michael Sam. And that's why he's in my top five and at number two overall. And at number one, this was an obvious pick and everybody has him at number one, uh, the number one defensive end. Not not only the number one defensive end, but also probably arguably the number one prospect harder towards this draft, and that is Jadavion Clowney out of South Carolina. This kid is relentless, has a huge motor, can deliver a big hit, support the run. He was actually the 
2012 SEC Defensive Player of the Year, and he had a great year back in 2012, but his stats dropped this past season, and one major concern that people are worried about is his overall attitude. There are times where I personally believe that he feels that he is more important and bigger than the team, and not only the team, but the game of football itself. He has a little bit of cockiness and ego, not a little bit, but a lot of cockiness and a huge ego, and he definitely needs to address that headed towards this year's NFL Draft, but he still had a great workout. 4, 5, 3, 40. Enough said. Good speed at that, at the defense end position. Actually faster than a lot of running backs headed towards this year's draft. And I really think he locked that number one um, player overall headed towards this draft, definitely. And I think he might even lock the number one pick belonging to the Houston Texans. But I think the Texans can still consider getting a quarterback with that first pick. I'm still debating. I would let you know by the time I would give you my video for the number one overall pick. But I think that he is an outstanding, a good argument to be picked number one overall because he is such a freak and is such a tremendous athlete. He has to, I understand why Houston should go with him at number one overall. Now I have a couple of honorable mentions for you guys. D Ford out of Auburn, he's a good player. We get a lot of hype headed towards this of uh, this year's draft because of the great performance this past season, especially in a national championship. <clears throat> Scott uh, Scrichton out of Oregon State, he's a good player. He ran a 4 8 4 40. Hopefully, just see increased SP just a little bit, but he still had 8.5 sacks this past season. Also, Stephen Tewitt out of Notre Dame. I was actually thinking about putting him within my top five, but he's more of a defensive tackle at 6'6, 6 6, 305 pounds, and he runs a 4 9 2 40, which is a good speed and outstanding speed at the defensive tackle position. He's more of an interior lineman, the defensive end, but I think he has just enough versatility to use to be used as a defensive end. He had 12 and a half sacks back in 2012. Now my sleeper this season, another D2 player, Larry Webster out of Bloomsburg. Now he did he's he's another basketball player who converted into football headed towards his junior season. And for the past two years he had double digit sacks in the division two um um, um, rankings, but he still had a good workout. He ran a in the four six range, a four six five forty at the scouting combine, which is pretty impressive. And because of that performance, and because he has that back that basketball background, just like a lot of great players, a uh, hall of future hall of famer Tony Gonzalez, Jimmy Graham, um, Antonio Gates. Yes, they're tight ends, but I think he could be work well, like like a uh, 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 like a um Jason Pierre Paul out of um. The New York Giants, I think he could work well because he has good length, good um, running ability. Like you say, he ran a 4 6 5 40, and I think that is pretty impressive. And that's why I had to use him as a sleeper at the defensive end position. So I think he could be a good pick in the later rounds, at least a mid round pick of this year's draft. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is on Wednesday, where I will continue things on the defensive side to give you my top five defensive tackles. Thank you for watching today's blog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.